We are out here on the Owens Lake for the uh, fourth annual Friends of the Inyo Owens Lake Bird Festival. This event is definitely meant to be a celebration of migrating birds. And in combination with that, we have this fascinating story of the history of the death of the lake or near death of the lake and its Lazarus-like resurrection to the bird habitat that we enjoy today. The water history of the Owens Valley um, goes back over 100 years. Uh, Los Angeles was just a, a little pueblo with dirt streets and sleeping dogs. They began to get large enough that they were outstripping their local water and they started looking for other places to get water. And one of the places was over 200 miles north at the base of the Sierra and all of its snow, the Owens Valley. So Los Angeles began buying up lands here in the early 1900s, built an aqueduct that was finished in 1913, and they began to take and divert every stream coming out of the Sierra Nevada mountains from Lone Pine to Lee Vining in Mono County, and that water went south. By 1924, uh, the Owens Lake was dry and started producing dust, and um, that was problematic for the health of all of the inhabitants of the Owens Valley, and people were just dealing with this, these dust storms until a couple of things happened. The passage of the Clean Air Act, the passage of California's um, California Environmental Quality Act, the formation of the Great Basin Unified Air Pollution Control District. All of these things provided tools for the citizens and groups of this area to start pushing back and all of these things together um, have resulted in the managed ecosystem that we have here today that supports this bird habitat. What makes Owens Lake special and other places like it is that it provides a unique habitat for migrating shorebirds and waterfowl. Thousands, hundreds of thousands from South America, Central America where they winter and then migrate to nest and breed in the far north. These birds can only go to certain areas, certain habitats where there's food and mud flats and wetlands, places like Owens Dry Lake, uh, tidal areas and things. Well, most of these have been lost in the American West over the last 200 years. They've been drained away, they've been converted to agriculture. And so this is a, an example at Owens Lake where something is actually returned rather than gone away. One of the outstanding uh, characteristics of Owens Lake is its unique location. Uh, there are a lot of dry lakes where rivers come and, and they spread their water and evaporates and goes away and maybe some wildlife comes. But Owens Lake sits in a valley, a deep valley, where the mountains on each side 14,000 feet on one side, 11,000 feet on the other, and desert all around. And you're in this oasis with all of these birds, all these birds flying, all these birds feeding, resting on their way north and south. And then you just stop and look up at the landscape that's around you. And, and it, is just, it is just striking. The contrast between the desert and the lake, dry and wet, the vertical nature of the mountains and the landscape itself are just profoundly moving. So another great thing about spending time here on Owens Lake is uh, from this spot um, right here on the shore, you can see other wilderness areas that Friends of the Inyo helped to create. We work from Lone Pine all the way up to Bridgeport, um, from out in the desert up to the mountain peaks. We work with the BLM, we work with the Forest Service, we fight for budgets, we fight for good management plans, we do all of that policy work, but we also have a big stewardship component, getting people out onto the land to see how unique and special it is, and thus inspiring them to get involved, stay involved with their local or regional conservation or environmental groups. The Owens Lake Bird Festival is, is one of the highlights of the year. It occurs in April. We plan it when we think the birds are peaking in late April. And, and to have all these people come uh, to, to see this and to share it with them and take them out there and see their eyes get large and, and their jaws literally drop and, and ooh and ah as, as flocks of these shorebirds are undulating out there across the water. It's just, it's just a joyful experience for people who love wildlife and, uh, and conservation, trying to protect and enhance that wildlife. Owens Lake has just been accepted into the Western Hemisphere Shorebird 
Reserve Network, a collection of the premier areas from Tierra del Fuego in South America to the Arctic. It will become the 104th site in the entire Western Hemisphere for migrating shorebirds. And that's a reason to come every April and September.